Hello cozy friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah if you're new here and I'm so excited that you've joined me today. For today's video, I am quite literally just gonna take you along for a cozy reading vlog. I have a lot of things going on this week and I thought I would bring you along with me. So let's catch up, how are you doing? How's your week going? I don't really know when it is you're watching this, but how was your weekend? How was your week? How are things going? So let's just get comfortable and let's talk about what's going on this week. So I have a lot of things going on this week and I have a lot of books that I'm gonna be trying to read this week. <laughs> But at the same time, there are so many things that I want to do that are cozy this week and I thought I would share them with you. This may be a very, very chaotic video. It may be very pieced together, but I, I don't know how this is going to go. But I just know that there's a lot going on this week and hopefully some of it's going to be cozy. So let me catch you up on what is going down this week. Yes, I do have a whole calendar based on September and it's kind of like, it's low key. It's nothing, it's nothing major. Guys, my type A personality is real. So this week I have two reading sprints scheduled. I have one for my friend Keisha's book club, Revive, which will be on Tuesday. We're reading this book, Up From Dust. This is Martha's story from the Bible. This is a biblical retelling. I'm going to be reading this with my friend Jordan and Keisha. So that's one book that I'm going to be starting this week. And then on Wednesday I have Bible study, which I have Bible study every Wednesday. And then on Thursday, my friends Yvette and Keisha told me that I need to watch this movie. And apparently everybody and their brother has seen this movie except for me. And Keisha thinks I'm really gonna like it. So we're gonna watch it together. And then on Friday, I have reading sprints with my beautiful friends, Leabeth and Wendy. And we're going to be reading Cherry Pie or Die. And this is for my book club, Comfy Cozy. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I do host a Comfy Cozy book club and it's a bi-monthly book club and this is our September book pick. Whew, okay, um, that's a lot. That's a lot going down. So besides these two books, I'm going to definitely be starting these this week. Um, I'm going to be starting this one on Tuesday and then this one on Friday. But besides those, I am in the middle of two books already. So currently on my Kindle, I can't show you right now, because she's dead. Currently on my Kindle, I am reading Assistant to the Villain. I cannot remember the author, but I'll stick a picture of it right here. I'm reading this for my friend Jordan's Patreon book club that she just started, and this is our September book pick. I am about 17% of the way through this one, and I am liking it. I'm not really feeling some sort of way about it. It's cute. It's quirky. It's different. It's definitely weird. I think it's a romantic fantasy where this girl named Evie is looking for a job and she just so happens to run into this villain who everybody talks about is like this ugly mean beast and turns out he's really not that way. He's pretty attractive and he seems to be nicer than everybody says he is. <laughs> And so she ends up being his assistant. So I'm about 17% of the way through this one. So I'm going to try and be continuing this for her book club. And this weekend I started this book and it's The Quiet Tenant. And I started this on Friday night and I'm about 62 pages into it. And I will say that this one reads really, really fast. So I'm not really worried about this one. I know I'm gonna get through it pretty quickly. It's just finding the time to sit down and read it. <laughs> when I initially read this synopsis, I was like, that seems a little bit uncomfortable. And it most definitely is very uncomfortable to read. It's about a man who keeps a woman hidden in his shed for five years and then he has to suddenly move out of his house and he decides to take her with him and pretend that she's a family friend living in their house. So it is a very uncomfortable one. It's a very fast paced one. I don't know where the story is headed, but I have heard really, really good things about this ending. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that it surprises me. And then last but certainly not least, I do want to end up getting to this book. Now this is like a possibility. This is not one that I'm like dying to get to, 
Well, I really am trying to get to this one. <laughs> Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell and Faith Erin Hicks. This is a graphic novel that I read every single fall. If you've been around for the last three, four, seven videos, <laughs> I've talked about this book until my face is blue. I absolutely love this graphic novel so much. This is fall in a graphic novel. I love this one so much and I will read it every year. So I do want to make time for this one at some point this week because I am in the fall mood because in Tennessee this week it is in the 60s. I'm so excited. It has definitely like changed. You can feel it in the air fall is here. My house has been decorated for about almost a month now so I've already been ready for fall but the temperature is finally adhering to what it should be. So that being said along with all of the craziness that is happening this week as far as like everything that I have to do I even have an observation on Tuesday. <laughs> so it's just like a lot of a lot of stuff going on but at the same time I am in the weirdest mood. Well, not really because I really love to bake anyway, but I'm in the mood to just bake and cook all of the things right now. And I don't know if it's just like fall treats and fall, just fall is making me that way. I am in the mood to cook and bake everything. Like I have like a list of desserts that I want to make for different people this week. Like I want to make some pumpkin bread. Uh, I found a pound cake recipe that I really want to try. Um, I want to bake a cherry cheesecake for our Bible study because our cozy task for Comfy Cozy is to bake a cherry dessert and I really want to get to that. I don't know. I'm just in the mood to be in the kitchen and I really do think it's just the fall time making me feel that way. So that being said, I do not know what this video is going to look like. I don't know what it's going to turn into. It may be a hot mess and a half, but if it is, just know that you really shouldn't expect anything less when you come to my channel. <laughs> but yeah, so hopefully I will get some reading done in to this week. But if I don't, at least we'll be doing cozy things, okay? So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this cozy, chaotic reading vlog.
Hello, fancy meeting you here. It is Monday now and I haven't really talked to you a lot since last night I came home and I'm just now sitting down and it's 7.40. So, <laughs> hi, how are ya? Happy Monday, I hope you had a fabulous Monday. I know you're probably not watching this on a Monday, but just in case you are. Today was okay, it was a Monday. <laughs> I had some like health scares today which has been happening like over the course of my teaching career. Um, if I've never shared this before, I have high blood pressure and I have had high blood pressure for the entire time I've been teaching and it comes and it goes. I am like medicated for it. I don't know if that's like TMI or anything. I, I don't really care if you guys know. It is definitely in my family. It runs high, high in my family. So lucky me. Overall, I'm okay. Obviously I was feeling great enough to cook um, we had breakfast for dinner, which is literally my favorite thing to make. I love breakfast for dinner. It's like my, my favorite meal. Made that pretty quickly. And then I showed you guys that I made, my mom calls them chess bars. And that is the recipe that I used is the chess bars. But I think another name for it is ooey gooey butter cake. I'm not 100% sure. If you guys have made it before, then you let me know. Um, this is my first time making it. And the reason that I'm making it is because I am going to make it for my husband's work tomorrow. Guys, I am so tired. I don't know if you catch that drift, but I am so incredibly tired. Oh, I'm so tired. I get this like spurt of energy when I come home from work and then I am dead for the rest of the night. I'm probably going to turn in early tonight. It is currently like 740 like I showed you. Um, and I'm probably going to go to bed 9, 930 just because I am so tired. But then also tomorrow I have an observation first thing in the morning. If you do not teach, then you probably don't really know what that is. I'm, I'm sure it's like self-explanatory, but it's where my principal comes in and she observes me do a lesson. Um, I had to plan for it. I had to meet with her and then now she's going to watch me do it, which I'm to the point in my teaching career where I'm like, it's either you trust me that I know how to do it or you don't. And I'm not really nervous about it. I'm not really like sweating over it. It's going to be a pretty simple lesson. Uh, we're talking about the human body. So tomorrow the lesson that she's observing me on is the five keys to health. Would you guys like to know them? The five keys to health are as follows. Eating well. Exercise. Getting enough sleep. Taking a shower. And last, getting regular checkups. <laughs> Congratulations, there is your first grade lesson of the night. <laughs> no, but for real guys, like I am so tired and I'm probably not gonna do much reading tonight. As far as like reading goes, I did make it a little bit further into Assistant to the Villain last night. I was doing some content stuff and I was listening to it the whole time that I was doing that. So I made it a whole, ooh, 34% into the book. So I'm pretty like, pretty far into the book. I am listening to it, like I was just saying. I'm 34% into it. Here are my thoughts so far on this book. I think it's very quirky. It's very fun. It's very different and unique. It's definitely a romanticy. No, it's definitely a fantasy with cozy romantic elements. And I'm not... <laughs> okay. I thought... I went into this book thinking that I was going to be head over heels for this book. And I'm not. I'm not like just dying over it. It's funny and the characters are really funny and the banter is really funny. Um, I don't know if it's this narrator that's kind of throwing me off because I really don't like this audiobook narrator. <laughs> and so that may be it. I don't know. I'm just not loving it the way that I want to be loving it. But I really like the concept. I really like the banter. I really like, you know, he's a he's a villain and she's like this quirky like little girl who just loves him to death. And you know, I just I I like that. He got really mad at a guy over her yesterday. And so far, I dare say it's reading like a 3.5. I know. I really want to rate it highly, but I just don't know. Depending on how this one ends, we'll see. But I have not picked up anything else. As far as tomorrow, I am going to be participating in some reading sprints with my friend Keisha and Jordan for Revive. We're going to be reading Up From Dust. And I think as of now, I'm going to be starting Up From Dust. So <laughs> I've got a lot of books on my plate right now. So I'm going to, I'm just going to give myself some grace, y'all. I'm just going to take it one book at a time 
while simultaneously reading all the books at the same time. <laughs> Something about me, y'all, is I like to do the bare minimum. I hope you guys caught that as sarcasm because that was complete sarcasm. As for the rest of the night, I've got my cake in the oven and I'm going to go take a shower and I'm going to just get comfortable and I'm probably going to call her until it's time for this grandma to go to bed. Wish me luck on my observation tomorrow. I know that through the screen you're telling me good luck and I love you so much and thank you. I can feel it. <laughs> All right, loves, I will see you. I don't know when. Hi, happy Thursday. It has been a minute since I last talked to you and did I just take a shower and it is at 6.30 and am I ready for bed? Yes, I'm an elementary school teacher. Do you need to ask so many questions? <laughs> Let's talk. Let's catch up. I have had a rough couple of days, like a really rough couple of days and for multiple reasons, I have like barely read a thing. I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, can we not do that right now? I think it's just like a matter of like, I'm just getting really burnt out in all aspects of my life. Um, I had a really rough teaching day yesterday. There was just a lot, a lot going on. So basically the short story is that I have not read anything, well, much of anything for the past couple of days. I did start Up From Dust, which I think I told you if i told you um i'll, I'll just like retell you i started up from dust on keisha sprints the other night and i made it 54 pages i'm started this one and he is trying to get his bone oh my gosh did you see how much attitude that was he was like don't touch me anyway i would like to read this one tonight. I don't know how much reading I'm going to do tonight either because it is Thursday night and tonight I have a movie night planned with Keisha, Yvette, and now Wendy and Leah Beth are joining us and we're watching Matilda. So I have about an hour before I have to get that ready and get that going. I've never seen Matilda and my friends seem to think I'm going to like it. So hopefully they're right <laughs> and hopefully I will enjoy it. So I'm going to do that in about an hour, but I think I'm going to read a little bit more of The Quiet Tenant because I really want to read more into that one. However, I would like to talk to you about this book, Assistant to the Villain. I'm 50% of the way through this book and I am so severely disappointed. I am so disappointed. Oh my gosh, guys. Like I knew going into this book that it was going to be a five star. I knew that it was going to be good. I knew that I was going to love it. And I just don't. I am over it. Like I, I want to be done with this book. And I have so many friends that love this book so much. And I'm so sorry. I love each and every one of you that love this book, but I just, I'm not getting it. Like I'm not getting it. I'm li also listening to it and I hate this narrator. Like I'm sure she's a great person and I don't like actually hate her, but I do not like her voice for this book. It's making it sound very juvenile and it's very, very weird. It's just, it, it doesn't fit for the type of book that it is. And I'm sorry, I have one huge complaint um if you're going to talk about a villain and you're supposed to make me believe that he's big and bad don't name him tristan i'm sorry what i am not scared intimidated enthralled with someone named tristan this author named this villain tristan anyway i'm just not i'm just not into it i'm not into it i'm really not feeling it right now 
I'm thinking of giving it a two star. I really did think about on the way home because I was listening to it. I really did think about DNFing it. And if I wasn't reading it for a book club, I probably would have already DNFed it just because it's just not, it's just not it for me. It is not it. I was like entertained in the very beginning, but now I'm just over it. I'm over it. Uh, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe there'll be like a part in the ending that'll be worth it but I highly doubt it because it's making me roll my eyes right now. I'm just not loving it at all. Also, last night I got a very exciting delivery. I ordered a new coloring book and if you guys don't know this brand, I'm sure you've heard of them, but I got a brand new coloring book. It's called Little Spooky. Look at it! It's the Coco Wyo brand. This person does like Instagram reels and TikToks, I'm sure. But this person releases like all sorts of different coloring books. I have another one that they made. Um, I think it's called Cozy Spaces. And then this one. Recently, I hung out with my friends and we had a very chill, cozy coloring night. And one of my friends had the first one. I think there's initially a first one that's a spooky one. And she had that one and she made copies of it. And we just colored. And I loved the little ghosties in here. It's so cute. Look at the little ghosties. Are you, are you joking? Look. <laughs> Look at the one I did last night. So um, while I was listening to Assistant to the Villain on Kush's Sprints, which I was listening to it for the last sprint, I colored the little goose and the ghostie. <laughs> I just love him. And then I started this one, which I probably will color at the same time as I watch the movie. Isn't he so cute? <laughs> if you have not heard of these coloring books, let me be your influence because these are so dang cute. And Coco Wayo has so many coloring books that I think anybody could find one that they can enjoy. So yes, that's my exciting news. <laughs> is that I bought a coloring book and they're not expensive at all. I think I like paid seven, eight dollars for this and it's so cute. So there's the back if anybody is wondering, there's some more. That's all I've got for you. Um, not much of a reading update. I do plan on like taking it easy this weekend because I just would like a very calm weekend. So I'm probably going to focus on these books. And I do need to film like a very short video this weekend announcing something very exciting coming in November <laughs> um, for Comfy Cozy. I need to film that video on Saturday. And yeah, I'm hoping I can just read and read and read and read. So there you go. <laughs> and I will show you a little bit of our movie watching. And yeah, I will see you when I see you. Well, hello. It's Saturday now. <laughs> it's been a couple days since I last talked to you. I think I last talked to you on Thursday when I was watching Matilda, which 10 out of 10 movie, by the way. It was so good. I loved it. There were a couple of parts that kind of grossed me out and made me angry, but then again, like what movie doesn't do that? I loved it. I can't believe I've never seen it before, and now I'm going to have to like recommend it to everybody. So I'm here with a reading update. I did end up finishing Assistant to the Villain, actually just a few minutes ago. And it took me forever 
to read that book. If you can hear like all sorts of noises and my wind chimes, it's because I have my front door open because it's beautiful outside. So just kind of ignore that if you hear that. Guys, I really didn't talk to you throughout reading Assistant to the Villain. I did mention a couple times that I just wasn't enjoying it and I'm here to announce that I did not enjoy it. <laughs> And I know that there are so many of my friends that absolutely love this book. It just felt so juvenile and quirky in a young way. But at the same time, this is a very adult novel. Some things just didn't add up for me. It didn't feel adult, but at the same time, it did feel adult. And it was like, so you're wanting me to root for these two characters but yet you're also making them seem like they're 12. Not really feeling that. Not really feeling that at all. I will say the last 10% of the book did save it a little bit, okay? I ended up giving it a 2.5 instead of a whopping 2. We're gonna move on. I think for the rest of the day, I have a lot that I want to do today. So it is currently one o'clock. This morning I showed you that I got up and fixed some breakfast for us this morning and then we watched Scooby-Doo. We watched Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island, which is literally my favorite Scooby-Doo. And then I started watching Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost, which is like my next favorite. <laughs> I love both of those movies so much and I love Scooby-Doo so much. It's like a comfort show for me and comfort movies just whenever like I need them. So we watched that and I did clean my house afterwards. So now I am ready to do some baking and I have just been in this baking mood. I showed you throughout the week that I did bake a couple of things. For my cozy task in the month of September, it is to bake or enjoy a cherry dessert because we're reading Cherry Pie or Die for our book club and I I want to bake a cherry cheesecake. Well, do you bake cherry cheesecake? You don't technically bake it. You make cherry cheesecake. That's what I'm gonna do for my cozy task and I do wanna get that done so I can take a picture with it. I'm just really craving some cherries right now, to be honest. Um, let's go ahead and make the cherry cheesecake. I think while I make the cherry cheesecake, I'm gonna listen to The Quiet Tenant. So I'm gonna pick The Quiet Tenant back up and I'm gonna listen to that. All right, my friends, I will see you when I see you. Hello beautiful people. It is Sunday now and I am here to officially wrap up this cozy vlog. So I hope that you guys had fun following me along this week because I had a lot of fun putting this together. I really enjoyed filming some of the cozy things that I did this week. I will say it was a pretty good week. Um, it was very cozy. It was very calm. For the most part, I will say that there were certain parts of this week that were a little bit crazy and I could have done without, but that's just real life. So I did want to update you one final time though. I did end up finishing The Quiet Tenant. I actually just finished this a couple minutes ago and I didn't talk to you a ton about this one. Basically what this one was about was it was about this serial killer who keeps this woman in his shed for five years and then all of a sudden he's like forced to move and he decides to take her with him. And so like following that storyline and all that craziness that unfolds there. And I will say if you've ever read Note on an execution and I feel like people who have read that book know the commentary that is in that book. If you've read that book and you loved it, you will love this one. This has that same read between the lines commentary that's very very uncomfortable to read but one it's important and two it's so good. Um, I will say I think that this is one of the best thrillers that I've ever read but it is very uncomfortable and it is very, very heart-wrenching and there's some pretty, pretty dark topics discussed in here. I think I'm giving this one a five star. Do not go into this one thinking that it's just going to be a fun, fast-paced time. Like this one definitely does go there, get the postcard and come back. Like it, it goes there. It's very uncomfortable to read. If you have read this one and not Noakes on an Execution, 
highly recommend that one too. And there you have it, my friends. That is all for today's video. If you made it this far into the video, please leave me a fox emoji to show me you made it this far into the video. Just remember, my friends, this world is a better place with you in it, and I love you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.